Area 51 The Helix Project is a six issue mini series being published by Pocket Watch Press. It is a superhero sci fi noir tale, and that is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. What's up, everybody? Trinity here. Welcome back to Second Street, where today we are talking about Area 51, the Helix Project, and this new series being called Show Me the Value, where we are going to be taking a look at certain crowdfunded projects and looking at them and seeing these books and seeing if these are worth your time and worth your hard-earned dollars. This series is being brought to you by the Myrtle Maniacs, the channel members here, where we, where I am taking a portion of the uh, of the crowd of the channel memberships and putting it towards uh, going out and crowdfunding certain comic books out there, so we can take a look at them and see if these books are worth spending your hard-earned dollars on. And that is why today the first one we are looking at, one of the first ones that we backed with the channel memberships, is right here. This is Area 51. One, the Helix Project. This book is being published by Pocket Watch Press. I will show you that right there. Now, this is issue number one. There will be a link down in the description where you can go and check out the campaign for issue number two. Okay, now, uh, with all that out of the way, this book is being written by Trevor Fernandez uh, Linkovich. It's got art by Marcelo Salazar and uh, Marcelo Salazar, and the colorist is Marcio Ferrer. Ferrer? I'm I may have butchered that name. And it's lettered by Taylor Esposito. Um, the variant cover is by Adrian Bone, and the logo and interior design are by Joseph uh, Schweikler. And I'll show you those names right there, uh, just in case I butchered any of those. You can go ahead and take a look at those right there. Now, this book right here is a six issue, uh, issue one of a six issue mini series, and it is a um, sci uh, like a superhero sci fi noir tale um, dealing with things like mental health, identity, and even government conspiracies. Um, I think this book was well written, uh, very good, definitely um, as good as anything out there I have been reading um, from any of the other publishers out there, if not maybe just a little bit better. Um, we've got some good world building here and a great introduction into to the characters and the world here in issue number one. Now I will say, um, at first I was thinking I wish this issue gave us just a little bit more. But after thinking about this being a six issue miniseries, the pacing that you're going to be thinking about for a six issue miniseries is definitely something that uh, you're, it's, it's a lot different than say doing a five issue miniseries or even a four issue miniseries. But I think overall it did a good job um, kind of introducing us to this world, introducing us to the main character that we're going to be talking about, and giving us a little bit of some of the other things to come in issue number two as it will unfold. Now, um, as I said, uh, that's uh, as far as the story, that's pretty much what there is. Uh, I thought it was very good. You can see right here some of the art on the for this book as well. Uh, again, I think this art in this book here is uh, very, very good. Uh, definitely uh, as good, if not better, than a lot of the books that I currently read right now. Um, it's got some very clean lines. The coloring in the book is very good as well. Um, let me show you a little bit more. You can even see like right here, some of the work of Taylor Esposito with the lettering. You can see some of the colors right here. Uh, some of the things kind of standing out here. Um, I'll show you, uh, say, uh, some of this uh, like right here as well. You can see a little bit more uh, right there. But altogether, I think this book is uh, very good. Now, the uh, so overall, the story is good, the art is good in this book. Now, the other thing I will talk about is the quality of this book. As I said, this is a crowdfunding project. People go to different uh, presses and things like this. I believe they said they are using Print Ninja for uh, their, the people who are printing these books. The, the page, uh, the cover quality here is actually pretty good. It's pretty, it's pretty nice and heavy. The interior pages as well got a nice heavy feel to them. 
Um, they are glossy, though not too, uh, I don't know, it's really kind of hard to see in there. They're not overly glossy um, either, where, you know, sometimes, you know, like, you get some of those overly glossy ones and it's just like every little touch, you know, like gets it all, yeah. I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. And it, it's not smudging or anything on here, the ink on the pages. All together, I think this is a high quality book. But, it's one I would definitely recommend uh, reading. But the real question here is, right, the one thing that you're probably asking is, show me the value, right? Where is the value in this book? Now, I will say one thing when it comes to uh, crowdfunding comic books, that a lot of times you're going to certain projects to, uh, maybe you know the creator, uh, maybe it's a friend or family member that is doing the project, uh, maybe it's somebody that you like and you want to support, maybe you're just kind of curious, you know, kind of like, I am here at the channel, I want to check out some of these different books, and I have a number of different books here um, that I have that we are going to be going through here on this series. Now, um, the value here is this is a first time creator. I will say even with issue number two, I will still say that it's, he's a first time creator until he gets through all six of these issues. So I'm going to uh, kind of say that you, you are helping fund a first time creator here uh, with their own works. I can say that I do know that the writer here um, is actually looking to make a career out of comic out of comic books, and you can go check out his channel, Dark Knight Nation. He is an acquaintance here of the channel, and that's how I heard of this project, and one of the reasons I wanted to go out there and fund it. So uh, the the value here is you can get in on these books. I believe the digital issue was four dollars. Um, then you can get the uh, the printed copy was five dollars plus shipping and handling after that there was a tier at seven dollars that was the issue plus an early uh access to the digital copy for seven dollars nine dollars was the variant cover um along with the early access to the digital and at fifteen dollars they had where uh you got both covers and the early access to the digital and you know all of these plus shipping and handling now i will show you um kind of what we got here with this project. This is the first issue right here, the cover for the first issue, and uh, or uh, the variant. And this is the variant. This is the variant cover right here. The first. This one was the. Uh, this one was the regular. And this one's the variant right here. So, um, you know, I went ahead and backed at the fifteen dollar tier is what we chose here. Got both of these covers, and so you could. I mean, you could really think about it like each one of these was like five dollars each and then uh shipping and handling ended up being four dollars all together it was nineteen dollars now the thing that you got to think about is um at four dollars for the digital you're looking at you know that's an average price for a comic book you're looking at twenty four dollars uh for the overall uh series once it has all come out so, you know, taking a look at that. Now, if you're buying the printed, you know, you got to think about uh, how much, you know, it's a dollar extra. So you're looking at about $30 plus all the shipping and handling involved in there as well. Now, that is one of the things that you can always take a look at. But altogether, I've got to say, I think that even at the, if you backed at the $5 tier and just got the physical copy and it only cost you $9, it's still got a pretty good value to it as I said you are helping this uh, first time creator um, bring this project to life and I think that's a little bit of the added value with this particular uh, package here if you ask me you can even get the digitals for four dollars and I guarantee you they are still very thankful for uh, each one of those sales because that money does still go to helping them out and making these uh, projects come to life. And you know, that's ultimately what we're here for, right? So altogether, I've got to say, the art in this book is good. The, uh, the colors in this book is good. The story in this book is good. The lettering done is very good as well. It's a high quality book all together. Definitely, I would put it up against anything out there that you can find at your local comic shop, okay? I'm, you know, just, and I read plenty of those, right? If you guys watch me here on the channel, 
Altogether, I gotta say the value is definitely there. Um, I wouldn't wait, you know, till like issue five or six comes out and hope that you're gonna get issue one, two, and three and all those things in a physical copy unless it's a second print or anything like that, which maybe that's not a big deal. Maybe he'll eventually do a trade. It's really hard to say, but why risk it? Like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a link down in the description where you can go check out Dark Knight Nation's uh, YouTube channel, and you can also check out the Kickstarter for issue number two that just launched, I believe there's like 15 or 16 days to go on the project as of the recording of this video. So make sure that you go and check it out. Um, again, thank you to all the channel members, all the Myrtle Maniacs out there who uh, helped make this video possible and for all of your support uh, here and just all that we're doing here at the channel. Thank you all so much uh, to all of our generous channel members. You guys are the greatest and uh, thank you guys. You guys are helping me crowdfunding these projects so we can so I can read them and take a look at them and help show you the value. But that's all I've got for this video today, folks. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the Second Street Marvel. If you're not already, please make sure you're subscribed. Click the little bell and all that good stuff. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you don't. It's okay. You're not going to hurt my feelings. But while you're at it, make sure that you share it with a friend and invite them to come hang out with us here on the Second Street Marvel. You all have a good day, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.